In today's video, we're taking a look at a new frame from a company called Amax. Now, these co this company's been recently known for doing some really great micro motors and also 5-inch motors. Maybe many of you haven't heard of it, but I was very excited about it, and then I reached out to them to get some of their motors. And when I did that, they sent me over this frame. Now, I, usually I don't do frame reviews, but I really believe this one actually deserves one for a couple reasons. Um, its overall build, construction, quality, and carbon fiber is absolutely insane. Like crazy insane. So let's get started. Let's talk a little bit more about the specs and what you could fit on this thing. Some of the drawbacks that I found, which I wish they would have done slightly differently. So with that being said, let's get started. So as the name implies, this thing is a five inch and it's called the Amax Eno F5P freestyle frame here. Now it's using six millimeter arms, believe it or not. So they're really thick arms. The overall weight is around 131 grams as you see it right here with all the screws and everything into place. Now for the mounting, it's really nice because they cover quite a lot here. So what we see is we have 30 by 30s in the front, also a 20 by 20, and they do provide you with the screws that you need for everything. And they give you quite a lot of accessories, which we're gonna cover in a bit here. And on the back here, they give you an option to set a 16 by 16 and as well as a 20 by 20. So you can do double stacking. For example, if you wanna do a Cadex build, you can easily do that. A DJI build might be a bit tricky, but I don't think this one was really designed with the DJI in mind, or at least the full-fledged module. Now, if we talk about the upper plate, it's actually using three millimeter carbon fiber and it's cut proper. I mean, you cannot really bend any part of this, which is pretty insane. Uh, the innermost plate right here is 2.5 millimeter. The bottommost plate is also three millimeters here. So they are going the thick route in order to kind of keep it as durable as possible here. Now for the overall space inside, you get 20 millimeters. However, you see those nuts right there. Those are gonna kind of take away some of uh, the spacing inside. So keep that in mind, maybe about, I would say about four millimeters uh, minimum it would take. So probably four to six millimeters. And if you take a look at the nuts, you actually do need these. Now this is one of the things where I wish it was done differently. And what do I mean by that? Well, I wish they had self-locking nuts. Uh, that would have been much better, Amax, in my opinion. You would give us much more space inside. Plus, it's not as annoying as these to start tightening down, getting some sort of a plier to hold them into place. But we'll just let that slide for now. So that's something I would have done slightly differently here. Now, for the camera size, you're going to be buying a micro for this. So if you have this, you want to set up a micro uh, camera in here. Uh, you could probably put a nano if you have an adapter. So basically a nano to a micro but you definitely need an adapter if you're using a nano camera. For video transmitter mounting solution, absolutely beautiful, especially if you use anything from Rush FPV, they give you those plastics that mount right here, give you a really nice solid connection here. And now when we speak about the video transmitter, we speak about obviously this is a freestyle frame, you're probably gonna be speaking about the GoPro here, you're really not left with much space for the battery. So maybe the video transmitter might be, or the antenna of the video transmitter might be set up in a different position in order to maximize space. And this comes to the second thing I would have changed in this. I would have really wished for it to be slightly longer. Um, maybe about, I don't know, 10 millimeters longer. It would probably been a little bit better here. Um, I would have loved to see it if it was, because then it just gives you more space to do quite a lot more in here. Now, another interesting thing I found about this is that they give you screws to basically go into here. So durability is in mind when they've created this or when they've designed this. And let me show you the accessories they provide. Now, um, it is quite a lot, actually. They give you some heat shrink. They give you a bunch of clear see-through heat shrink as well. And they give you those braided wires so you can set up your motors really nicely here. So that's, that's just pretty damn awesome right there. So yeah, I'm guessing these would hold these into place if you wanted to do that, because there's just enough to do that. Or you could use the clear heat shrink for anything else you want. So this is actually quite nice that they even provide this. We also do get a couple more things. They give us two anti-slip through. Uh, those would definitely probably go up here. And the thing what's really nice about this, you could also use this as a bottom mount frame. You also do have an opening here, so you could route your uh, strap through there. And talk about straps, they give you two high quality AMAX straps here. Again, this is a German company, so they're doing, they're, they do it proper. I mean, like absolutely proper. Really nice battery straps here. As you can tell, these are my favorite. Uh, I, I don't like the, other, the older versions anymore. This is kind of like the go-to now. So these are really good battery straps. They give you two of these. They give you also, check this out, some extra nuts and stuff. But these screws here are for the motor. So you don't screw up your motor, which is really nice. And not a lot of companies do that here. So you have the exact motor size or the exact screw for the motor. So you don't screw up your motor, which is a huge plus in my opinion, because 
these are running six millimeter arms and it's highly likely that your motors didn't come with motor screws for six millimeter arms. You also do get some foam landing skids if you wanted to use those. Sometimes I use those. And they also provide you with some nylon standoffs here. We have eight uh, two millimeter or M2 standoffs and we have four M3 standoffs here, which is really nice that they, they really didn't have to do that. And you get some really nice stickers as well in the packaging. I don't think I'm missing anything else currently. And that's really it for accessories. So they do give you quite a lot for what you're paying here. And it's really nice to see. Not only that, this thing is going to take an absolute beating. I mean, let's get a close up look at the arms inside. Hopefully, as you see that. Now, if you can see that right there in the middle, that little line, those are the two arms right there that are being sandwiched between the two plates. And it's just a flush line that will hold them into place and basically not allow them to move because they're just like, held into place like that and yeah they can't move uh the tolerances are pretty much pretty damn insane as well look how flush that is that's pretty crazy now, i forgot to mention also one more thing about the xt60 right here you could route them through there so you don't have this portraying anywhere so you can just have your battery strap just go right in there from here so it could just go straight down um don't know how it would be with really long battery leads just yet i can't really imagine that uh, but i guess time will tell i will be building this actually uh, this will probably be a new basher quad of mine and it's going to make for a really interesting build here. It'll probably be an analog build. And well, that's it, guys. Now, don't forget to check out my FPV comparison website, which I'll have down below. It goes and checks all the FPV websites. I'm adding new ones every other day. And it'll also be implementing new features such as in stock alert, also price drop alert and also sale alert. So you could subscribe to whatever product you want and wait for a shop to actually do something about it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.